What is going on everyone and welcome to another Fox Tech video. This time you can see we have the MacBook in front of us. The topic for today, however, is how do you change the language in Google Chrome on a Mac? So obviously this is the MacBook Air, but this applies to any Mac, whether it's the desktop, Mac mini, iMac, whatever. Anyways, if you of course want to change the language of the Mac, make sure you open it like this is the Google Chrome. So you can see you can, you have to open it up like this. And you basically, what you need to do is to go to the settings of the Chrome app. Now there are multiple ways I can do that. First of all, you can click on the three dots right there. This is going to open up a drop down menu where you can see the settings uh, button right here, or you can tap on the Google Chrome icon in the upper left corner and the same settings option is going to be available to you. So it doesn't matter, but you basically get to the same page. You can see settings, you and Google autofill, a lot of stuff, but uh, one of the options is literally called languages. So you can see the languages are right there. So you have to click on that and you have some options here because the languages are like a little bit more nuanced topic because there are more things which could apply to it. Guys, I want you to use your devices the best possible way. And that's why I created this free educational platform where you can find, as of right now, there's the video editing course, all apps explain where you can find full guides for many different apps. We're constantly adding more to the list. It's free to access. Link is down below. Of course, the first thing is literally the preferred languages. So websites will show content in your preferred language when possible. So you can add the languages that you speak or that you understand, of course. So when you, uh, for example, have the English United States, so this language is used when translating pages, but you can also click on the add languages and basically search through all of the languages which are available. These are all the languages of the world, pretty much. You can also search through it manually. So let's say I want to add like another language. You can see I can add this one if I want and add it. Okay. That's the preferred languages. So the websites will show content when it's available in that language, preferably, but you also have some other things in here when you scroll down a bit more. So you have the spell check. You can check for spelling errors when you type text on web pages. This also applies to languages. So you can turn it off or on. And at the bottom, you also have Google translate. So you can disable it altogether. So you don't even get the pop-up when you visit a language or a website in another language. So that's that. But you can also choose which language you decide to translate to the entire list of all the available languages. I have chosen it for English, obviously. And that's basically how it works. And also automatically translate these languages. So when I choose, for example, I don't know, like these random languages, Languages which I don't understand. Let's say that I go to a website which is going to be in the Croatian language. In this case, when I add it in here, it's going to automatically translate it for me in English because I apparently don't understand it. So that's basically how it works. And also at the bottom, I have one more section which is for never offer to translate these pages. For me, I've chosen these languages because these are the languages that I actually speak, so I don't need translation to be offered to me. So that's basically how I can do it. This is exactly how we can change the language on Google Chrome on your Mac. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.